Deputy State Secretary, ladies and gentlemen, and dear guests from Norway, kjære gjester fra Norge. It's a great pleasure and a privilege to launch yet another program within the EA and Norway grants in Hungary. It's also a privilege to be in these beautiful buildings. I'm very impressed by all the beautiful buildings that you have in Budapest. I've been here a year now, so I discovered some beautiful architecture in this country. But coming back to the topic of today, the aims of the EEA and Norway grants are twofold. Reducing socioeconomic disparities in Europe, in Hungary, and to strengthen bilateral cooperation between the donor states and Hungary. Our contribution to Hungary is roughly 40 billion forint, and in agreement with the Hungarian side, we have selected priority areas where Norway can make a difference either areas which are very high on the political agenda or the ones where Norway has a special competence to contribute with. This program, the Adoption to Climate Change program, clearly fulfills the objective and it's even more relevant today than a year before. It's an area where no single country can hope to address the challenges alone, but where all of us need to cooperate and make commitments for the best of future generations. With the available 2 billion florins for this program, we hope to contribute significantly to the efforts being made at national and local levels in Hungary to adapt to the effects of climate change. The establishment of the National Adaptation Centre is clearly a milestone here, because without reliable and data that are systematized, no adaptation strategy can be efficient or credible or sustainable. So, we welcome the fact that all relevant stakeholders have been involved in the process at national and local levels, which guarantees commitment and ownership as well as concerted action in this field. I'm also confident that the involvement of the Norwegian Directorate of Civil Protection, DSP, is a significant added value for this program, not only in terms of strengthening the bilateral aspect, but also when it co comes to providing professional competence and advice. I'm looking forward to hear the uh, details of the NAC to see the results in due course. Finally, I would like to thank the organizers of the invitation, the Regional Environment Centre, REC, and the FMO for the hard and dedicated work during the programming phase, the Geological and Geophysical Institute of Hungary for the professional coordination of the project, and for all the Hungarian and international participants of today's conference for helping this important project to succeed. So I wish you a very successful day, very good discussion, and I hope for a very successful project, and I'm looking forward to see the and results and hopefully to be present at the closing ceremony. Thank you.